So people with Down syndrome, which is caused by having three copies of chromosome 21 instead of the typical two copies that you find in the general population, um, have long been recognised to develop early onset dementia. So that's been an important part of kind of clinical observation. Um, and that has actually been it's shown to happen because there's a gene on chromosome 21 called APP, so the amyloid precursor protein. So people who've got DS have three copies of that gene because of their trisomy. And that means they overproduce APP protein and A beta. And that has been shown genetically to be one of the, le the leading factor in the development of their neurodegeneration, so um, Alzheimer's disease. We know that, that three copies of the APP is absolutely critical, so as scientists we say it's both uh, sufficient and necessary to cause the early onset of disease, but there also are some key clinical differences that happen in people with, who have Down syndrome. Um, so, for example, people who have Down syndrome develop a lot of seizures when they develop a clinical AD, and we don't really understand why that happens. It also seems that their neuroinflammation seems to be slightly different than in the general population. Um, so there are kind of some key differences um, in the clinical presentation that we still don't understand yet and also how that we're going to think about treating them. And one thing that I kind of would really like to highlight is that people who've got Down syndrome are our ideal uh, patient population for prevention trials, so primary prevention trials, because of course they're identified at birth, just like um, dominantly inherited forms of AD. So they're a really, really good population to think about those intervention trials. And that's one thing that us in Lundowns and also there's a worldwide collaboration called Horizon 21, and we're all really interested in kind of developing those prevention trials.